Welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at a flying machine that can not only land, it can start, it can have storage, it can turn and can do anything that you ever want and it is relatively cheap. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, we're going to start out by creating an elevated platform. I like to do it like this, just create two platforms, one which you're obviously going to punch away in the end, but we're starting out with just a normal basic wood platform on top. On the top platform, we're then going to place some floor tiles. Uh, these can be whatever you want. Use the cheapest one that you can find. Obviously, they have to fill out the entire grid. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to place two fences next to each other. Same thing again, use whatever you like here. Um, but make sure that they fill out the grid like this. After that, we're going to place four more long, small platforms around the, each corner. And then on the long side, we're going to place four more on each side too. From here on, we're going to fill out the rest of the open tiles with normal floor tiles. Again, you try to use the same ones to make it look nice. And we also want to place one in the middle on the fence. So now we're going to place two more long fences on each on the opposite side. Place four of the smallest fences on the corner sides, just like this. And two more small fences right down the middle. Now the fun part begins, we start creating the moving platforms, which allow us to turn. We're going to start out by just placing a long foundation with a small foundation on top. Then we just have to place a small truster outwards. At a fence post, you can use this medieval one. And a switch on top. Now just destroy the lower part and you have your first moving part. And now we just have to do the same thing on the other side. So now that you have your two moving parts, the next thing you have to do is place a long floor tile in each of the corners. Now it's time to secure the moving parts. For that, we're going to use the smallest tiles and place them just like in a video to make sure that none of these go flying when you activate them. So now that the top is done, this next part is actually optional. You don't have to use wheels if you don't have any flex wood or you don't have enough flex wood. It will work completely fine without handling the wheels, but if you want to, you can add wheels on each side to make sure it's a little bit more stable overall. For the main engines, we're going to use a switch in the middle. Uh, it doesn't have to be on the sticks. You can also just put it on the floor. It doesn't really matter here, but just make sure that you are going to place the trusses just like in the video, two on each side and two on the back. All right, we're coming to the end. Now the last thing you have to do is place balloons on each and every single side. So that means in total, we have eight balloons, two on each side, two in the front, two in the back, and two left and right. And obviously the last and final step is punching away the wood down and your vehicle is ready to go. So now you have a fully functioning vehicle which can turn left and right, can boost up and down, and if you really want to, you can also add four more chests in total. I wouldn't recommend doing more. I would recommend keeping it to two chests, but four obviously works as well. One little step which I almost forgot is that you can also add a little step at the back so you can actually get onto your vehicle. And with that, you now have a fully functional landing with storage and full-on turnable aircraft. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys back in the next one. Bye!